talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Out of my mind, out of my mind. Wrote it down and read it out, hoping it would save me. Too many times, too many times. My love, it makes it feel like nobody else. Don't pick up the phone, you know he's only calling cause he's looking alone Two, don't let him in, you act to kick him out again Three, don't be a friend, you know you're gonna wake up in his bed in the morning And the girl, man, you ain't getting over him I got no rules, I count him the 2K Sports pregame show. Welcome to 2K Sports, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, sitting alongside the big diesel, Shaquille O'Neal, and the prop plane, Kenny Smith. For tonight's game, we'll be watching the Los Angeles Lakers as they go up against the Charlotte Hornets. And for Charlotte, 5-5 five and five over their last 10 games, but they're not satisfied with 500 ball. Looking to tack one onto the win tally tonight. Coming down the stretch, a number of teams on the playoff bubble. Shaq, what can they do to close out strong? Well, value not just every game. You have to value every possession. Oh, yeah. And not only that, you've worked all year for this, so go get it, Ernie. Go out and get it. Grab it, bite it, eat it, go get it. Wow. How do you follow that up? I don't know, but bubble teams, they don't have the luxury of resting players. That's the difference. You know, guys with nagging injuries, you got to play through that if you're on a bubble because you got to get into that playoff. Would you like to take a night off? No. Mm. How about you? No, I don't like taking nights off. I'd like to play through all my nagging injuries. Ernie, that's why we have six rings up here on this panel. There's six between the three of us. We don't ever take nights off. We play I, through the pain. I, I, how, the many how many do you have, Shaq? Two? Six. All right, okay. Stay out of six. Huh. How many do you have? Four and two. All right. Got it. Got it. I've got the same number of rings as Kevin Harlan. Welcome everyone to Noche Enabia. A Latin theme is the backdrop to tonight's festivities. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter David Aldridge. In the last meeting for these two teams, the Lakers came away with the win against the Hornets. They've handled this matchup nicely so far, up to nothing in the season series. And, and once they established that flow offensively, really never got any resistance from the D. And you know, Greg, they were sinking shots left and right, and that's got to be demoralizing for the defense. They were in the real zone. And before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge down on the sideline. David? Well, guys, we know how much of a trailblazer LeBron James has been. He's taken charge of his own free agency to ensure that he is almost always on a contender. He has made it clear he has no interest in being around mediocrity. Kevin? You're right, DA. He wants rings and nothing less. Clark, plenty of speed and explosiveness on display tonight. When you uh, widen your lens a little bit, how do you think athleticism in this league has changed throughout the years? Well, it has grown exponentially, Kevin. When you think about the advanced training methods, the knowledge around nutrition and rest and strength training, so beneficial to the athleticism that we see in the league. As a matter of fact, I question whether or not I would be able to play in this Boys, day and age, based on the athleticism I had back in the 80s, I would have to really embrace that fitness and 
um, strength training to another level to play today. Oh, I think you would have played in any era and been just fine. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate that. I'm not so sure, though. These guys get after it. They're bigger, faster, and stronger than any players of any era to date. Here is the starting group for the Charlotte Hornets. Walker and Batum are the guard pair. Bridges and Williams, your forward pair. And it's Zeller in at the center position. And so it's Walker with it who brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. On the wing, Batum. Rebounded by McGee. And here are the Lakers. Here's James. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And he'll take that. The nice, easy mid-range jumper. First bucket of the day. The defense just gave him that one. And you talk about starting on a high note. Didn't seem to respect his mid-range Jay there. Zeller finds Walker. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. You know, one of the things you see when you watch Kimball Walker and you think about it is the evolution of his game. He, you know, came into the league as a guy with great athleticism, tremendous competitive spirit. But in today's game, your guards have to be able to stretch the floor. That's good from Kemba Walker. And with Walker, Clark, even he knew he had to improve from distance, and he put in the work. Yeah, you know, the hard work is admirable, but it's not a guarantee, Kevin. It just gives you a chance to perhaps get better. There are a number of guys, Rajon Rondo, Tony Allen, for example, that tried to improve their shooting range but just never became consistent shooters from outside. Walker has, though, and it's put him into that upper echelon category of guards. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. And LeBron is a force rolling to the rim. When he's diving inside, he's looking for the punch. First quarter, just over a minute played. Last outing for Charlotte was a loss to the Los Angeles Lakers. Yeah, they gave up in that one. The, the defense constantly breaking down way too many times. Yep, and that's not a winning performance. I mean, you got to tighten up the defense moving forward if you're going to get some W's. Walker in the corner. There's the three. Connects from three-point range. Walker's got five points so far. You know, over the last couple of years, Walker has increased his three-point percentage. That sweet shooting stroke is now a lot more consistent. Ooh, you've got to love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. Fellas, that's exactly why they look to get him the ball around the rim. I mean, it's either a dunk or free throws every time. Now, here's Walker. Five points in the game. And you know that's going to be goaltending, guys. So that's a free basket right there. Man, that's a tough call for the refs to make there. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's, that's how they saw it. The Lakers have gone 4-4 four four to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. Kuzma, that's good. Kuzma, excellent at using his height and touch to perfection. Very confident player. For Charlotte, they've gone 3-4 of four from the field to start out the game. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Kyle Kuzma. That is his first foul of the game. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Batum for three. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Batum's got his first three points of the game. An almost perfect start to this game. Four for five. They're rolling. And James being aggressive, just terrific at getting by his man when he drives inside. Charlotte's gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Bridges, no one around him. And another three for Charlotte. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Everybody on the same page, completely in sync. Tremendous communication and awareness. Well, you know, he's not a guy that's just going to settle for pulling up. When he has an opportunity, he's going to take it strong to the hoop. Platoon passes to Bridges. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. 
not only a jump shooter, Bridge is also dependable at knowing how to get it done inside. Oh! oh. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, ooh, wow. And, and there's no question that James is one of the best dunkers ever. A forceful finisher who loves showing off his athleticism. Here's Bridges, rebounded by the Lakers. Well, what appeared to be an easy two points just never material. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> That's a beautiful jam. Yes, indeed. This tug-of-war game continues. And, guys, that's lucky number seven already in this game. And it's Batum with the ball, bringing it up for Charlotte. They trail by one, but drive by James. And when James gets going, there's no stopping him. Just a dynamite scorer who feels he can get any shot he wants. Walker against Rondo, and it's slammed in by Bridges. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And guys, I like the fact that he chose the one-hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot. Here's Batum. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. They double him with LeBron. And Batum kicks to Williams. There's Walker with the three. Ajan Rondo with the rebound. Lakers leading by three. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on Marvin Williams. Mobile and tenacious on the drive. Kuzma, easy to see how he gets these calls. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Los Angeles. Really some great drives to the basket here early on for these guys. Also, what passing we've seen from them here early. I mean, there could be a big number in the assist column if this keeps up. He's off on the first. The Lakers with LeBron wasted no time trying to surround him with free agent signings, Greg, to help round out the supporting cast. Names came in rapid succession after LeBron committed. Caldwell Pope, Rondo, Stevenson all joined in short order. We'll see how far this team goes, but you cannot deny how interesting things have gotten with this roster. We know about the rookie wall, but Clark, for some, you know, things really don't click until later in the season. Yeah, that's a good point, Kevin. And again, a lot of factors go into that. How much are you playing? What kind of work are you doing? What's your role on the team? What's your opportunity within your team? All of those things can impact how you fare during the course of the season. And sometimes it's a matter of matchups for individual players, but all part of the fabric of the unpredictable nature of, of being a pro player. Hornets trail by six. Walker dishes to Zeller. Back to Walker. To the left side wing. Bridges. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Bridges has got 12. And the floor awareness of Walker, impressive there as he got the ball to the open man. Rondo passes to Kuzma. Slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. That's on Marvin Williams. Yeah, but I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain simple one-hander, just like pound cake. <laughs> I would agree. <laughs> one shot, gentlemen. And that one misses. And what a draft day steal for the Lakers, who were able to get Kyle Kuzma, who had been drafted 27th overall. Yeah, Kuzma came into the league far more polished than anyone expected. And you have to credit the young man's hard work and how he was able to make such a big splash that rookie year. And, and with how hard he works, Kuzma is going to be an impactful player in this league for a long time. Pass to Bridges. That's tipped and stolen by James. Yep, it counts. James has got 24. 
hard to believe you could have this kind of a flow. Unbelievable. Talk about putting up points in a hurry. He can't miss right now. And from the opening tip, they just crushed it. Yeah, you see it now on the scoreboard. Clearly in great rhythm. They've got it going on. I mean, in a big way. An excellent job at establishing a huge lead early on. So Charlotte calls timeout. They're first. And Greg, what else is there to say about LeBron, one of the best to ever play the game? I mean, he's been the face of the league for so long, and he's done a tremendous justice to that title. It has always played with so many expectations and, and really has met every single one of them. It's a once-in-a-lifetime chance to see a guy like LeBron in the NBA, and, and he's truly been a generational talent. Los Angeles making a switch here. Wagner's checked in. And then for Charlotte, Michael Kidd Gilchrist comes in for Williams. And it's Lamb in there for Nicholas Batum. Passes to Bridges. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Walker's got six assists in the game. A dangerous score from just about every area. Bridges very good at capitalizing in a number of ways. Yeah, pounding it inside once again. They have taken over this game physically. Schooling them right now. Taking them to the woodshed. Super aggressive and owning the paint. Rondo against Walker. And James picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. Charlotte making a switch here. Biombo's checked in. The pass to Bridges. Fires the three. It doesn't go for him. And the Lakers go on the other way now. LeBron drives in, and he banks in the layup. LeBron's got 30 points. Kevin, he's been flat out phenomenal, superb, scintillating this quarter. He's carving them up, knocking down everything. Walker against Rondo. Here's Biombo. And the dunk by Biombo. Yeah, tough to box out Biombo on the glass. I mean, this guy does a nice job anticipating where the misses are going. Yep, that one goes. 32 points for LeBron. That's as good as it gets right there. Beautiful reverse layup in traffic. Bridges kicks to Walker. Kuzma pulls it in. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Here's Bullock, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And the foul called on the Charlotte Hornets. Lakers shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And the season numbers for them at the line thus far are, are really poor. Something Super I'm two. sure they are making a point of emphasis. Yeah, it's been a very frustrating season for them in that regard, guys. Free throw good. Bullock. So many outstanding athletes in this great game of pro basketball. Talk about a couple guys, Clark, who maybe aren't widely known or regarded in that way, but are terrific athletes. Yeah, Contavious Caldwell Pope comes to mind. Great size and endurance and stamina. Tell you what, Clint Capella for a big guy. Yes. Gets up and down well, good strength. I'm very impressed and still very, very young in his career. Those would be two guys I would highlight. And Terry Rozier uh, had a bit of a breakout season this past season with the Celtics. So those would be a couple of guys that I would uh, put on that list. The offensive rebound. The Ambo, the pass to Monk. Now here's Lamb. Defense is right there. Down to five on the shot clock. They double him with James. 
And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. And checking out the stats for Rajon Rondo. How the second half of the season has shaped up for him. He's getting around eight points a game, eight assists, and five rebounds. And, and some pretty good numbers, guys. He's certainly making a contribution. Better than expected. He still has a ways to go. But I like what I'm seeing right now. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And the foul goes against Charlotte. And, and really, no better leader in the NBA than LeBron. The, the closest thing to a player coach we've had in a long time. For Los Angeles, they have made three of their first five foul shots tonight. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. Free throw good, James. James drills them both. Clark, we know of your involvement with college basketball, call in the Final Four. College teams occasionally change conferences here in the NBA. There's talk of eliminating conferences altogether. Yeah, you know what? I'm a bit of a traditionalist here. I'm open to change, but I think there would need to be more rationale behind the change than what I've heard or read. So I think keeping it the way it is is fine. So I, that tradition aspect of it is what I'm hanging my hat on. Anytime you try to manipulate matchups, though, to me, is walking down the wrong road. So in my opinion, we should stay with the conferences for now. I like that thought. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it, Greg. They're tearing it up on the glass. And Biombo came into the league, Clark, as a project, but he can certainly protect the rim when he's on the floor. Yeah, that's one of his greatest strengths, Kevin. I mean, on a per-minute basis, one of the very best in the league at blocking shots. Excellent timing and does a nice job with his length forcing shooters into tough shots. The offense is a work in progress, but um, he'll always find time on the floor because of his defensive prowess. Changes for the Lakers. Uscala, he's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Josh Hart comes in for James. And it's Caldwell Pope in for Reggie Bullock. The first free throw is good. Boy, the upside of Biombo is impressive. An undersized center who makes up for it with really great heart, especially on defense. And Biombo drops them both. Rondo with it. No points in the game yet for him. It's Caldwell Pope with the drive. The shot will not fall. Some solid defense from Kid Gilchrist. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. It's his first trip to the line. And the first one at the line is good. Still plenty of room to get better. Kid Gilchrist doing his best to become an all-around player. He hits one and misses one each at the line. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on an 18-7 run. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. Defensively giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And to battle back, 
they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. And the Hornets call time here. Yeah, he, he's got to make some adjustments here. Just too easy to score in the lane against them right now. Yeah, there's no reason why they should be scoring at will down there easily as they have. I mean, they've got to be more aggressive inside. see the 2K leaderboard. Not only have these teams caused a lot of turnovers over the last 10 games, but they've scored off them as well. In third, the Lakers. Just a terrific job over this stretch of forcing turnovers and capitalizing. They'd love to continue that trend. Monk, no one around him. Charlotte, no good that time either. Lakers leading by 16. It's Caldwell Pope with the drive. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. So quick on these drives. As quick as a hiccup. Can't let him, Caldwell Pope, get into the lane like this. Parker finds Lamb. Now, here's Monk. Caldwell Pope with some nice D. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Over Parker. And too long on the shot. And so it's Lamb with it. He brings it up for Charlotte. Ball's knocked loose, and that'll be Charlotte as it goes out of bounds. Hornets retain possession. And even though he's still a young guy, Coach Borrego's seen how to do things the right way, Clark, under Coach Greg Popovich. Yeah, I agree with you. Just another branch coming off the Popovich coaching tree. And, you know, his tenure, Borrego's tenure in Charlotte, I think will be interesting to watch, but he certainly has been well prepared for it. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Muscala got that bucket in in no time at all. And the Lakers lead by 18. And I'll bet his percentage is pretty high from that range. Parker looking over the floor. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. And it's six points for Contavious Caldwell-Pope. Hornets trail by 20. Parker double teamed. Here's Monk. Misses off the right iron. And the defense that time was late. And you got to feel fortunate he didn't put that one away. Hornets shooting the ball to the tune of 41% from the field so far. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Here we go, all alone. Muscala gets the bucket. Muscala's got his second bucket. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Tell you what, guys, his size really comes into play when there's a rebound battle going on. He's got an advantage in there. It's Caldwell Pope with the drive. And so it's Charlotte with it. Pass to Lamb. Nobody near Parker. Good on the three-point shot. Parker's got himself on the board with three there. Sharing the basketball is a part of the game that Monk needs to continue to add to to complement his shooting. A baseline jam, and Caldwell Pope gets the basket. And when it rains, it pours. Another jump shot tickles the twine. To the inside, Diambo. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Biombo's got six. And Biombo is highly effective down low. Knows where to post up in the paint. Here's Hart. The shot from the low post is good. This is as good as it gets 
for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Greg, you're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. So both teams making some changes here. Here's Stevenson. A 14-point game for him in the win against Charlotte. And he also controlled the backboard as well. I mean, he really did a terrific job. Yeah, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. One shot, gentlemen. That free throw good from Lance Stevenson. When Lance Stevenson is focused, he's very dangerous, has a ton of talent, good, strong, physical body, athletic, versatile. He does a lot of good things out there. Biombo, no luck. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. What an amazing quarter. There was absolutely no stopping him. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. LeBron James is the all-time leader in playoff field goals made, and he had this to say about his ability to nail clutch shots. I always feel like I got it. I always feel like I got it in the clutch. No matter what's going on throughout the course of a game, uh, even when you're struggling at times or you're not shooting the ball particularly well, I just feel like it's going in. And you know, Greg, that's the type of confidence you got to have. Uh, the words of a leader. James has proven time and time again that he's dangerous in late game situations. And as we return, it's Noche Latina celebrating the NBA's connection to the Latin American community. And for the Lakers, this has been the game they wanted to have. Getting high percentage looks, wearing down that defense on the inside. Grinding away down low, man. Just filing them down. Love the bully ball method. Paying off well. So on the floor for Charlotte to start this second quarter. Kaminsky out there with Bismack Biombo. Then there's Parker. Then it's Jeremy Lamb. And it's Kid Gilchrist in at the three. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Well, guys, Kyle Kuzma had a tough upbringing in Flint, Michigan. He said they had the recession, lead in the water, it was like an urban war zone. We probably moved 14 times before I was 16. Basketball was my key. And his drive to succeed in the NBA was born of a desire to escape that environment. Kevin? A tremendous work ethic, David. Thank you. On the wing, Lamb. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Back to Parker. They shoot again, and that's two points on the layup. Parker's got five. And when you give Parker room to work his magic down inside, he knows how to finish with style. Wasted no time on that one. Guys, he has been a major factor, big time. Outstanding at getting quality looks and, and knocking them down. And Caldwell Pope, the Georgia product, when he's on the floor, it's for his defense. Can give you a handful of points, but what he takes away with defense is far more significant. One of the better perimeter defenders since entering the league. Got that one up quick. Caldwell Pope's got seven points for the quarter. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end, and let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. And with Caldwell Pope and his defense, he can guard any type of perimeter player. Yeah, I mean, has the long arms to bother small forwards and fast feet to stay with point guards. Really gives a lineup a lot of options in terms of matchups when he's on the floor. Great instincts on defense and is very hard to shake as he'll hound you through screens.
and he knocks down the first one. JaVale McGee's checked in for Wagner. The Hornets also changing it up. Bridges, he's checked in for Michael Kidd-Gilchrist. Batum comes in for Jeremy Lamb. And it's Kemba Walker in for Tony Parker. And Biombo drops them both. Clark, when you played some tremendous talent at the forward position, as you go back in your Rolodex, who was the toughest matchup for you? Well, I look at some of the names of guys that I played against. Uh, Mark Aguirre, Larry Bird, obviously Kevin McHale in Boston. Uh, Calvin Natt was terrific with Portland at the time. Marcus Johnson in Milwaukee. Bernard King in New York probably was the toughest guy I had to deal with because he was such an animal and beast as a scorer and was relentless in his movement One without shot. the ball. He was probably the hardest guy I had to check. Boy, some great names there. Yeah, big time scores at that forward position. And the free throw, no good. Frank Kaminsky, a finesse seven footer out of Wisconsin. A high skill level, but athletically at a disadvantage most nights. Here's Caldwell Pope, and the shot goes down. Caldwell Pope's got nine points in the quarter. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Charlotte calls timeout. And Lance Stevenson, man, I could say a ton about this guy, but he is a player who thrives in chaos. Broken plays, odd situations. Those are where Lance is at his best. I mean, he likes to play as a freestyler, and he excels in that capacity. the shot chart as we see how things are going for LeBron. And it's really been a tremendous night. He's been efficient. He's been a major driving force in this offense. And it's no small task to try to slow him down. Once he gets rolling like we've seen in this game so far, watch out. And with Lance Stevenson, sometimes he'll pull off an improvised play, Clark, that just drops your jaw. Yeah, he's one of the most instinctive players I've ever seen. I mean, he does do some things that want you, that could cause you to pull your hair out if you have any. But uh, this guy is um, competitive, great size, and uh, he ignites a team because he can do a lot of things to help you win. Bridges gets to Walker. Williams passes to Kaminsky. Charlotte moving the ball around. That's JaVale McGee with the rebound. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Kaminsky, the pass to Williams. That one's not going to go. And the Lakers take it the other way. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. Uh, you're going to win a lot of games when you can shoot the three ball the way they did in that one. And you know, you see teams relying on the three ball more and more nowadays. It's a big part of the game, and they made it rain out there in a big way. Looking to end the run. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Marvin Walker's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Walker against Caldwell Pope. And that one is good. Caldwell Pope's got 13 points now in the quarter. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Here's Walker. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two-for-six start. Not just a jump shooter. Walker, also pretty athletic. And athletic enough to get inside and finish around the basket. The offensive rebound. And the shot goes down. Hart's got eight points. And now he's taken a solid opening in the quarter and built on it here in the second. 
Charlotte's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Walker against Caldwell Pope. Williams with a clean look. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And Muscala kicks to Stevenson. Banked in off the glass. He has seven. Yeah, getting theirs before the defense can set up. Perfect execution. That's how you take advantage of a transition opportunity. A shot by Kaminsky. Nobody around. And the three ball is good. Good body control that time by Frank Kaminsky. Seems to me that he's got really good balance and rhythm when he's catching and shooting. Yep, it counts. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And so it's Walker with it who brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Beyond the arc, cans it from downtown. Walker possesses not only competitive spirit, but a really good basketball IQ. And if you give him too much room, even an inch, he'll pull the trigger. And the Lakers call time here. Some changes for the Lakers. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Muscala. James comes in for Lance Stevenson. And it's Reggie Bullock in for Caldwell Pope. Zeller, he's checked in for Charlotte. Banked in off the glass. That's 36 points for LeBron. Man, you got to respect and appreciate how polished LeBron is inside. I mean, he really excels at creating opportunities for himself close to the rim. And it's slammed in by Bridges. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. A fast break now for Charlotte. Bridges leading the charge. Batum wide open. He fires. The three-pointer off the mark. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Charlotte's gotten fond of that three-point shot here in the second quarter. Four of nine. Kicks it to Bridges. Back to Batum. Shot clock at six. Fires for three. And there's Bridges on the assist from Batum. And that's 19 points for Miles Bridges. Here's Bullock. Makes it off the glass. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. And Greg, you know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. And just not able to find the target from three-point range here in the second quarter, although he did knock down one in the first. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's on Marvin Williams. The Lakers have shot 67% from the line, going six of nine. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Charlotte making a switch here. Monks checked in. Both good from the line that time. 
Charlotte shooting the ball at 42%. And Walker kicks to Zeller. This one for three, and another three for Charlotte. Well, we know Luke Walton comes from the Warriors coaching system, was an assistant there prior to taking this Lakers position, and known for his sharpness as an offensive coach. Bullock, good. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. With the shot. And it comes off the front of the rim. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one, Greg. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Outside, Walker. The three. Rebounded by the Lakers. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Here's James. Lays it up off the glass. James has got 44. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. No good that time. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. On the wing, Williams. There's the triple. Rebounded by the Lakers. Kuzma's got four rebounds in this game. The drive by James, and it's good. Two points. James has got 12 now in this quarter. Well, he's willed this team to the lead, demanding the rock and capitalizing with ease. Good on the three-point shot. And it's 13 points for Kemba Walker. And the shot looks so smooth coming out of Walker's hands, and he's consistent at making it from there. Got a piece of it. And Batum kicks to Williams. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. And guys got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. That's exactly the way to do it, too, Kevin. Go hard to the bucket and don't let them set up the defense. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Yeah, highly efficient. Nothing extra special there. Just effective. And so it's Walker with it who brings it up for Charlotte. To the middle. Here's Zeller. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And Cody Zeller, he's carved out a fine career for himself, Clark, but not quite what everyone expected. Yeah, he was the fourth overall pick in the draft, Kevin, and he's got tremendous skill and athleticism, and he's plateaued a bit, but I think with bigger guys, you've got to look at a five- to six-year time horizon versus three or four. He's a really good pick-and-roll player. He can run the floor and usually shoots a pretty high percentage. Two. And that one falls for Zeller. And the Lakers with some changes. Wagner, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. Rajon Rondo is subbed in for Josh Hart. The Hornets also changing it up. Michael Kidd Gilchrist is checked in for Williams. Jeremy Land comes in for Nicholas Batum. And Tony Parker subbed in for Walker. And so Zeller nails both of them. And guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're, they're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. James with the bucket. Indicative of what we've seen tonight. One team being the aggressor, the other failing to react. Yeah, and you can tell they feel Back like they can violation. get inside whenever they want to. I mean, it's been carte blanche, full menu for them, and the defense really not offering any resistance. 156 left to play here in the second quarter. Parker with the steal. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Lamb dishes to Parker. The basket is good. That's his sixth attempt and his third make. And that's how you move the basketball. Awesome passing leading to the bucket. Kuzma. And it's good for two. Kuzma's got seven. Nice pass there to set that basket up. Guys, we've seen a lot of turnovers in this one. Yeah, focus, focus, focus. Just make the simple play. 
Something that Kid Gilchrist does extremely well. Takes full advantage of any chance to throw it down. LeBron drives in, and they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. Biombo has checked in for Cody Zeller. One shot. Free throw, no good for LeBron. And for the Hornets, they're shooting in the second quarter, 46%. And the rebounding has been key to their success here tonight. It has been a wopsided battle on the boards, no doubt. Pass to Monk, fires from the wing, and he hits the jump shot. Monk's got five points now in the quarter. Yeah, you know, I like watching Monk stroke it from the mid-range. We know he's got deep range, but that mid-range makes him hard to guard. For Los Angeles, they have made eight of their 12 free throws in this game. James. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. And James drills them both. And you have to like the way he's attacking the defense, drawing fouls and getting himself chances at the line this quarter. And a wide open look for Lamb. And it's off from three-point range. The drive by James uses the glass to finish the layup. LeBron's got 54 points. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Parker finds Biombo. Here's Lamb. No good from outside. And the Lakers have possession. And following this one, they'll take on the Hornets in New Orleans. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Passes it to Biombo. Now, here's Monk. He's guarded by Bullock. Here's Monk. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's Los Angeles, enjoying the kind of gigantic lead you almost never see. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Contavious, you've been able to produce easily and efficiently in the first half. What's enabled you to keep it going? Um, I mean, I'm just moving on the offensive end and I just find an open spot. They turn their heads a lot, so I'm just trying to get to the open spot and then knock down a shot. Either I'm cutting to the back or so spot up for the free. You've been on a roll so far. We'll see if you can keep it up. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports, the Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Boy, we have a lot to discuss. LeBron James putting in some incredible work. He had a scoring performance for the ages, putting up an enormous amount of points, three rebounds, and one assist. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Come on, Ernie. What can you say about LeBron that hasn't already been said? The first half is just a microcosm of his old career. Everything he does on the basketball court, he shoots, he passes, he defends. It's getting boring. I'm tired of talking about him. Shaq, let's get your insight on Charlotte. The first thing to say is, what's up with the turnovers? Jeez. 
you can live with some missed shots and stuff like that, but you can't keep turning the ball over. It's crushing for a team. It just saps all your confidence when you play a half like that, Ernie. Ugh. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. It's been a clinic out there by James. Yeah, he's really been catching the defense off guard so far here in this game, racking up a bunch of trips to the line. Yeah, and you know what? I like the fact that he's staying in aggressive attack mode. I mean, forcing the issue, making the defense foul. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. And here is Los Angeles now. LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. Reggie Bullock is out there with Rajon Rondo, and it's McGee in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the Laker five. Here's Batum. Walker looking for an opening. Rondo on the double team. Inside, here's Bridges. Goes back up, and it's good on the layup. Bridges has got the opening bucket to start the second half for the Hornets. You just can't teach that size. Bridges has the wingspan, those broad shoulders, just a tremendous rebounder for a wing. And they've worked the ball around so well tonight for those quality looks for mid-range. Well, it's interesting. The defense continues to back off, expecting them to attack the rack, but they just continue to pull up and knock down those mid-range jumpers. It's LeBron with the drive. That one good for two. LeBron's got 58. And an example of using momentum to your advantage. LeBron inviting the contact, and he comes out the winner. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. You know, watching Miles Bridges, he just brings so much energy to the team. High motor guy, very aggressive. You know, a bit of a tweener, which in a positionless world could be a good thing explosive strong athletic i think his best basketball is ahead of him marvin williams has checked in for the hornets mind the lanes mind the lanes one shot and that one falls for bridges yeah, and the confidence Bridges plays with, really admirable. This guy knows he has the talent to compete in the NBA. To the middle, the kick out to LeBron. Connects again! 60 points! This guy cannot be stopped! They've had no answer for him in this one. Now Walker. Inside. Bridges misses. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. Over Williams. Hits it again. Wow. That's 62 points. 62. Amazing. A, a remarkable performance from him so far. Here's Bridges. It's not going to go for him. Good D by LeBron. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Finished off by LeBron. LeBron James throwing it down is a thing of beauty. An incredible athlete who makes dunking look as easy as it can look. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. And here's Batum. Here's Bridges. And the Hornets miss again. LeBron drives in. Count the basket. LeBron's got 12 points here in the second half. And everything they're attempting is going in. Tremendous run here in the third. And a much needed run too, Greg. I mean, they've turned it up a notch. Really taking over now. Rondo passes to James. 
good on the shot. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense, Greg, has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Williams passes to Bridges. No good, unable to end this run. And they just tried everything to stem the tide here, but nothing seems... Oh! Mm, mm, mm. My goodness! Just increasing their advantage, and right now they're in a zone on both ends. Yeah, you know, it's got to be terribly deflating for the opposition. Boy, they look helpless. Really getting beat up, physically and emotionally. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. And Kuzma with the basket on the assist by LeBron. Kuzma's got nine. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Outside, Batum. Charlotte moving the ball around. Good work there as it goes. Five points in the game. That to me is just all practice and experience. Textbook shooting from Williams right off the pass. LeBron drives in. And yep, another basket. What a game. That's 72 points. He's been simply, Greg, sensational throughout this one. And Batum kicks to Williams. Another shot. And Bridges finishes it off. Bridges has got 12 now in this quarter. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Outside for Batum. Kept alive by Charlotte. There's another opportunity, and everything's going right for these guys. Shot's good by Walker. And Walker always shot ready. This is why you can't lay off of him, especially when the ball's going towards him. And stolen by Zeller. Wide open. Rebounded by McGee. McGee's got eight rebounds in this game. And another one! He is simply unconscious here tonight. Nobody can stop him right now. GA, the points keep coming, and he's climbing up that scoring ladder. Third on the list, well in sight. And his scoring tonight has dropped him into the conversation with some of the all-time greats. I'm talking about names like Wilt Chamberlain and, and Kobe Bryant. Simply amazing what we've seen here. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. Greg, they keep pulling up and watching them go down. It's a really nice thing to see. Bridges misses. And I think that's got to affect your mental game. I mean, missing open shots like that, unacceptable, and it'll probably mess with your head a little bit, too. And you can see it. They're in a nice rhythm in terms of shooting. It's been that way the entire second half. And, you know, Greg, it's hard to ask for much more than that because they're getting to their spots and they're knocking down the shots. James right side. And again! And that ties him for third all-time scoring for a single game. What an incredible performance. Absolutely. A game not to be forgotten. He has put on a show. And to equal a mark set way back in 1961 by Will Chamberlain, that tells you all you need to know. And he lays it straight in. Kuzma's got six points in the quarter. And it's been about that execution offensively. I mean, they have been superb. Yeah, and you know, the ball moves faster than anybody's can, so that great ball movement and decision-making... They're making all the right moves, Greg. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And, you know, it was clear early on that Kyle Kuzma is going to be a great scorer. He had no problem putting up big numbers in his rookie season. Uh, many feel, and I'm with them, this is just the start. And he has plenty of upside in other areas of his game. This guy is all-star caliber in time. Free throw good, Kuzma. And with Kuzma, he is so ahead of schedule as a scorer, Clark. He's had time to branch out this development. Yeah, he's got a nice game offensively. Boy, he does a little bit of everything. Handles it, shoots it, can score with or without the ball. 
even at the end of last season, I think he focused more on acting as a playmaker for others, which adds to his versatility. The sky's the limit for this guy, Kevin. Both shots good from the strike. Kyle Kuzma is a guy who burst on the scene during his rookie year and is a fun player to watch. He's a guy that really has an outstanding all-around game. Now here's Lamb. He's guarded closely. Here's Monk. Right through the D for the Lamb. Time out, time out. Monk's got nine. They've cashed in on a lot of second chance opportunities here in the second half. That extra effort will help them cut into this deficit. Timeout called the Lakers. And Malik Monk, tremendous offensive promise. But the defense, Clark, the defense is still coming around. Well, he was the 11th pick in the draft, Kevin, ahead of Donovan Mitchell. A lot of pressure on Monk to live up to his elite billing. The good news is, and I always say this, Kevin, young guys, you have to give them time to grow and develop. He's a clutch shooter. He's got good size. He's competitive. I think he's going to have a nice career in the NBA. Stevenson's checked in for Los Angeles. Only five games left on the season. Let's quickly take a look at how the playoff field is stacking up out west. You look at Denver. What a run they've had this year in first place and charging seemingly at will toward the postseason. These guys have been outstanding. And, of course, the Lakers. Not in the same realm right now in terms of their record. And I think for the Lakers, they haven't made any of the strides they were hoping to see prior to the season. Again, hanging around at the bottom of the standings. Yeah, it's full makeover time now, guys. I'm sure they've learned their lesson that this roster is not one that can sustain any kind of success in today's NBA. Tipped away. Here's Rondo, and he banks in the layup. Rondo's got his first points in this one. And a closer look here at the hustle stat for Los Angeles. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. Yeah, but they've also done a great job of playing in space, getting out in transition every opportunity. And that one's good. Parker. And Monk is a solid passer. I know he's a great shooter, but he passes it pretty well, too, especially when he's locked in and focused. Caldwell Pope. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Monk. And you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kind of aggressive plays coaches love to see. Taking two shots. Two shots. Last on the first. That free throw good from Caldwell Pope. A sharp shooter with a quick trigger release. Caldwell Pope is known for being an efficient scorer. That one is no good. Charlotte's gone one of four and three point shots here in the third. The shot by Monk is no good. And here's Los Angeles. They're on a 15-6 run. Yeah, and once he gets the switch turned on, Caldwell Pope is not going to be slowed down. He can heat up quickly. And so it's Lamb with it. He brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. To the middle. And there's Michael, Michael Kidd Gilchrist on the assist from Lamb. Lamb's got three assists now in this one. For three, Caldwell Pope. Rebounded by Lamb. Charlotte shooting 44% on their field goal attempts in quarter three. Kept alive. Here's Kaminsky and a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Kaminsky's got seven points. Those arms of Kaminsky go on forever, which helps them snag these second chance opportunities. 
Here's Lamb. And you can see his scoring totals. Those are some pretty good numbers. He's putting up close to 15 points a game on average. Nobody near. Kid Gilchrist drills it from outside. Michael Kid Gilchrist. Eight points for him. Encouraging to see for sure, guys. I mean, Kid Gilchrist is very aware he's got to improve his three-point shot. Now, here's Monk. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Looking to get it going. And it's off the back rim. No good. L.A. has gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Wagner passes to Stevenson. And again, the Lakers, no good. Charlotte has gone a less than productive 2 of 6 from three-point land in the second half. Buries it from three-point range. Six points for Lamb. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Here's Charlotte now. They're on a 14-5 run. Now the pass to Parker. Here's Monk. A rebound by the Lakers. Wagner's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. That's a foul on Charlotte. Yeah, you know, Contavious Caldwell Pope, his quickness can be overwhelming at times. Really hard to defend if you're not physical and focused. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And just a top-notch free-throw shooter this year, all the way up there at 88%. And it's clear that's a change for the better from what he was able to do at the free-throw line a year ago, guys. No good on the free-throw. Biambo, he's checked in for Charlotte. He hits the second from the line. Charlotte's gone three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. He kicks to Kaminsky. Two minutes. Now here's Lamb. He has six. That one goes in. Lamb's got eight points. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. And he comes up with the deuce. Yeah, cashing in in close, Caldwell Pope. Showing you there, he's more than just a jump shooter. To the paint, here's Biombo. And then Biombo with the dunk. Boy, that was a thing of beauty by Parker. One item that stood out, their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking. And more importantly, it makes it really hard to defend. That's a very close call. I'm sure he thinks it's a clean block, but looks like it was on the way down. The Lakers making a switch here. Hart's checked in. Here's Lamb. He's got eight. Tipped away. And it's denied. And they get it back. And the shot goes in. Kaminsky's got four points this quarter. Boy, I tell you, he has been light out. Sadly, they're still behind. He needs his guys to step up. And the basket by Stevenson. Yeah, that's the kind of aggressive attitude Stevenson brings to the table. He's not going to sit back and settle for jump shots. If he can attack the basket, he will. Oh! Yes, sir! Come on, bring it! He is an unreal athlete with an impressive array of dunks. Kid Gilchrist, sensational at throwing it down with power. Lamb with the ball. Pass to Kaminsky. There's the three. Rebound the Lakers. Muscala's got six rebounds now in the game. Baseline jumper. And too long on the shot. And it's Parker with the ball, bringing it up for Charlotte. Lamb finds Parker. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. Hey, you know, Kevin, that's what you want to see. Strong passing inside leading to the hoop. Here's Caldwell Pope. Rebounded by Kaminsky. Kaminsky's got rebound number seven for him tonight. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Lakers on top, running away with it. 
We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Luke Walton had some advice for his team. Let's hear what he had to say. Hey, that's beautiful basketball out there. That's fun, right? Even with the lead, we keep passing, we keep moving, we make the extra pass. That's fun. It's fun to watch. I know that much. Well, Greg, it looks like his guys are having a blast out there, too. Yeah, I mean, everything seems to be coming together at this point. They have the momentum thanks to how efficient they've been on offense. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. And on the court for Charlotte as we start the fourth, we've got Bismack Biombo, Kaminsky out there with Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Then there's Parker, and it's Mack in at the two spot. Now Parker, Biombo, and then Biombo with the dunk. E extraordinary work from Parker to find his teammate for the open basket. His passing is just phenomenal. Banga lays it up off the glass. And I'll bet his percentage is pretty high from that range. The Hornets shooting well. They're at 45%. And Mack kicks to Biombo. And that one's good. Parker. Parker's got four points in the quarter. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. The last five trips they've had have ended with a great pass leading to a basket. They're really sharing the sugar. Inside, here's Kid Gilchrist. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. I tell you what, it reminds me of one of my college coaches. He used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. <laughs> <laughs> Bridges is checked in for Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Mac, good. Absolutely fearless. I mean, a, a nice subtle adjustment there going up against Wynn. I could not say it any better, showing you some real focus, taking it inside against the bigger man. Here's Parker. Falls right in. He is 8 for 11 with that shot. Ah, the soft floater from Parker is truly a wonderful thing to behold. Hart took him no time at all on that one. Mark, it always seems the coaches get fired a lot, and there's kind of the rotating names there. But the GMs who hire them stay in place. What's your take on that? Yeah, you know, it's fairly complex, Kevin. I don't know if we have enough time to delve in it effectively here, but my initial feeling is every circumstance is a little different, and sometimes it's a little easier to move the coach than the general manager for whatever reason. Um, but there should be more accountability for GMs, not just for who they draft, but also uh, who they hire as coaches. Shots. So I'm Two mixed, shots. but I kind of understand why sometimes the coach is a little more readily expendable. First one falls for him. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Mike Muscala. So he gets them both. The Lakers have gone an outstanding 4 of 5 from the field in the fourth quarter so far. Hart, that's good. Hart's got four this quarter. He's a big reason why they have the lead right now. He's made all of his field goal attempts thus far and remains hot from the floor. Parker dishes to Mac. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. The layup off target. Chandler goes in. Got it. Good job in the low post. Great job getting to the right spot on the court. Beautiful passing all the way around. Chandler with the steal. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. How about the concentration? He gets hit but stays with the play and gets the finish. 
innovation and improvisation right there, Greg. Finding a way to get that shot to fall after taking the contact. You know, there's always this debate, Clark. Could the best teams 20 years ago beat the best teams of today? I think they would be some compelling matchups. And I think you would find winners on both sides from different eras. I really do. It's hard to compare just because of the difference in eras and periods. But really good championship teams typically could handle most teams in the current era. I believe that in all sports. So compelling matchups, and I do think some teams from a couple of decades ago could handle some of the teams that we see winning championships now. And he gets it back. Upping his intensity on the defensive end. Love to see that. Kuzma uses his length and athleticism to challenge and alter shots. Mack, the pass to Biombo. Basket counts. And you can see the second chance points now starting to be a major factor. Well, I tell you what, offensive rebounding is really an important statistic. Maybe undervalued a bit, but those extra possessions really do help. The Hornets have gotten more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're 7 of 12. Count that bucket. You got to love the effort from Parker, constantly helping get his teammates involved. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the zone. Everything they've done has worked. Kicks to Biombo. Parker outside. Parker double teamed. Shot clock at six. Back to Biombo. Hernan Gomez finds Parker. Tries a three. And no good. And it's the Lakers the other way. One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. For Charlotte, they've gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And what a career it's been for Tony Parker. Four titles to his name, a finals MVP, six-time All-Star. I mean, the accolades go on and on for what is truly one of the most impressive resumes you'll see in the NBA. Los Angeles calls timeout. And for Tony Parker, will certainly go down as one of the greatest Spurs ever to put on a San Antonio uniform. No doubt about it, Kevin. And it's strange to see him in any other uniform than a San Antonio Spurs. And he made a move in the offseason. And, you know, here's what he brings to this team. A, a lot of experience, championship pedigree, and a guy that I think could maybe help get this Hornets team over the hump. Gentlemen, two shots, blue shots. First free throw is good. Where you look at player contracts today, Clark, a little different from the one after you signed your rookie year. What, four years and a million dollars? Do I have that right? Yeah, you got the numbers right, Kevin. And you know, I look at that as all relative. How about the guys who played way before me? Right. And they were traveling on trains to games and were working jobs during the summer. I mean, it's all a function of the revenue generation of the league, which has grown exponentially since I played. We were part of the group that actually saw the first salary cap instituted in the early 80s so growth is part of what we see now in player salaries and I'm all for the guys to get what they deserve from that standpoint nothing dropping for him so I think in the best interest of his team he may need to think about not shooting right now continuing to push the action and build this lead yeah you know continue to pour it on them that's what they want to do right now doing their best to put this game out of reach and in the win column 
Biombo, the pass to Hernan Gomez. That one goes in. A smart, decisive pass inside there. He really made it easy for his teammate. LA's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Charlotte shooting in the fourth quarter has been efficient at 56%. And Mack kicks to Biombo. Back to Mack. Three-pointer. The rebound by the Lakers. Here's Stevenson again, Los Angeles. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. And so it's Parker with it. He'll bring it up for Charlotte. With social media providing instantaneous news, Clark players have to really watch what they say now I mean, before they hit the, the send button. Yeah, you got to pause before you peck and you got to pause before you post. That's one of the things I would <laughs> well tell said. them. Well said. That's what I would tell guys when I was talking about this landscape that they're in. Heavily scrutinized. And to the NBA players' credit, they've done a great job with social media. They're very visible, they're very accessible, they're well connected to the community through their platforms, but you do have to um, exercise some caution in how you go about your um, social media profile. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect him to continue to run the offense through him until the defense makes him change plans. Hart, no good. And that's the shot you want to create. They just can't get it to fall. That's what I call an everything but. Good execution, just didn't knock it down. But you're right, they're happy with that shot. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. Here's Chandler, and Chandler throws it down. Mm, mm, mm. That is ferocious. <laughs> you said it, that was ferocious. Ammonia strong, we call that. Wear that rim out. Parker outside, down low. Hernan Gomez finds Biombo. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now, six for eight on the night. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Charlotte's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Here's Mack, and there's another one for the Hornets. And that's what you give up when you don't fight over the screen. Yeah, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I mean, not a lot of effort put forth on defense there. I mean, I think he's definitely got to play up on him more and off the screen in that situation. Got to be happy with the result, moving the ball so well on that possession. Beautiful. Charlotte shooting a respectable 47% from the field in this one. It's Parker with the drive. Biombo and the dunk by Biombo. Hey, it's simple. When Biombo's feeling it, keep getting him the ball. I like seeing him be aggressive on offense like this. Chandler outside. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. And that keeps him perfect from the field this quarter. Now here's Matt. Tight defense on him. Pass to Biombo. And then Biombo with the dunk. Yeah, he's a threat to throw it down every time he's near the rim. At six foot nine, Biombo has not only the height, but the strength and bounce to jam it down. Hart, that's good. Defense has no answer for him. I mean, none. They look completely lost. He's been on fire. Parker, right side. Here's Biombo. And Chandler sends it back. And how about the basketball IQ of Chandler? Just knows exactly when to sky and commit to blocking shots. He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. And the basket by Stevenson. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. Here's Bridges. Good. And the nice assist from Mack. Mack's got six assists in the game. And defensively, you have got to extend to their shooters. They have been on fire this half. 
Well, you know, the D just hasn't been there for real. I mean, these shooters are getting any perimeter shot they want. It's a bunch of warm-up jump shots out there. That's what a star talent does. If Bridges wants to fulfill his potential, he's got to attack. Use that quick first step. I mean, if you're looking to get back into this game, you have to get tougher defensively. Charlotte has gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. You know, Clark, when you think about it, all fans really care about is winning, and, and that's hard to pull off when you're the only star on your team. And we see it all over the league. You know, basketball is not tennis or golf. It's a team game, and one man can't win a championship by himself. I mean, you look at all the championship teams. They were championship teams, not driven by just one star player. And uh, it's a blessing when you can play with other good players, and that's what all good players desire to do at some point in their career. Uscala, he's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Charlotte also making some changes. Frank Kaminsky, he's checked in for Biombo. And Michael Kidd Gilchrist subbed in for Hernan Gomez. Good on the bucket. Hart's got 12 now in this quarter. Still attacking, building on this lead, coming down the stretch. Yeah, he's clicking right now and at the right time too, Greg. I mean, playing with a bunch of confidence in this fourth quarter. Knocks down the three ball. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for Los Angeles. They really had it going, guys. Their offense propelled them. In this case, it was the higher shooting percentage that made the difference and earned them the W. And so now, on the year, they'll have 35 wins to their credit. And they've really had a dominant run of games against this opponent this year. They played them three times and won every one. Well, once they'd taken the first two from them, you could just sense how this one was going to go. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for LeBron. Well, his defense was tremendous tonight. Really, really high level. He was a pest, forced the opponents into a lot of turnovers. And leaving nothing to chance here on this game-clinching run. Exactly. Cold-blooded. Separation solidified. Great effort. Lance Stevenson. And the Lakers call time here. They're up by 42. There's 49 seconds left in the game. Timeout call for the Lakers. present our Jordan player of the game, LeBron James. And guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. Yeah, it's just too bad they're on the outside of the playoff picture looking in. It would have been nice for him to have a chance to perform like this in the postseason. Shooting two. He's off on the first. And Parker has such speed and creativity, just causes the defense fits in terms of how to properly guard it. Good on the second free throw. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. Here's Hart. Buries it down low. And giving the fans what they came to see, a, a spirited performance. 
Well, they've got to be pleased with the effort they've seen so far tonight. Everybody pitching in for what looks to be a solid W. Parker kicks to Kid Gilchrist. 27 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Charlotte no good that time either. And here's Chandler who brings it up for Los Angeles. At the line for the Lakers, Josh Hart. At the line for two. First free throw is good. He hits both from the strike. 17 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Poked away. Out to the right wing. Here's Mack. No good off the front iron. Stevenson right side. It falls. And that's right where they want it to go with the ball in rhythm. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. LeBron, were you satisfied with the team's performance tonight? Uh, we got a very good team, but in order for us to continue to improve, we have to go out and we have to defend, we have to play for one another, and we have to be selfless. You know, it's not about the individual, it's about the team, and if we all give in to what the team needs to do to be better, then, then we'll be okay. It is a work in progress, LeBron. Thanks for your time. Kevin? All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.